There's a princess who wanted to ride a horse. One day, she just get on a horse and she just water fun her her the sneaky dragon and she had this creepy the key to crush it. And the and the princess got it. The horse was the one and it crush and it weighed and stick and she wear it as a crown and save the day. The end. Yay! 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 Good job, Bunny. Hazel. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. That's fun, Bunny. Where'd you get this game? Are you hmm. thinking right I, now? I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, I do. What's fun time? The princess lives far away. Oh, this fairy girl lives far away. And the princess helped me. What's wrong? It says, I can't find anywhere I can go. Maybe you go this way. You can keep in this. And you go to look at the gold. And this, what is this guy? It smells. What's wrong? Yeah, this is my old dog, Kelpy. And Kelpy says, What's wrong? And you can go this way. This person is right. It's this way. In that one, he hears a big noise. Wow! And a big target! And he took it! And he went to the world! And he see he just you And he says, I was say, and he takes the princess down to there and one day the girl wanted to, to go to the 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 girl wanted to take her to a safe place. And one day, she just go, and he wanted to go too. And he go to a safe place, and, uh, and he just sing the foot. And he says, and he says, he walk around, he walk taking And he says, I like, and then he take the goose back, and he wanted to she won the goose, and she won that one, and she won that fuck up Oh, I'm going to stay with the flip. Goodbye. The end. Woo! <laughs> that was great. That was wonderful, Hazel. Now your turn. My turn? Oh, man. Okay. You want to turn it around? Yeah. The king had a horse. <laughs> 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 sure, oh yeah. Uh, okay, and the king, um, in his kingdom, he loved his kingdom very much, but they were running out of um, money. So he gets on his steed, and they stop laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> they, they ride, ride, and ride through the. The, the trails, and they come upon a cave. Ooh. There's a bone in the cave, and so it makes him... <laughs> and it makes it small like a puppy. It makes, oh, it makes him weary because he, he knows that something ate an animal and left the bones out front of the cave as a warning to mm. not go in there. But... That means he must be guarding something. So the, the king uh, gets off his horse and he gets out his knight, his uh, sword <laughs> sword and shield and he starts to walk to the cave. But he hears a loud roar and, um, and sees some fire in the distance. It's in the cave. Can you demonstrate the roar? First? Nope. Hazel, can you demonstrate a big roar for us? Roar like a dragon? Yes. Good job. Thank you. It made you. him scared, so he backed away. He is he's supposed to be very brave. But all of a sudden, he's trying to think of how he can go into the cave and see what this dragon might be guarding. And um, there's a river 
and a little frog at the river. And this frog talks to him. <laughs> You're doing so good. He talks to him and says, I know a way that you could go in because um, I've seen it one other time. <laughs> <laughs> said, I have this. This feather, and this feather is going to give you these magical powers. But really, it's just going to give him courage. Oh. These magical powers, um, if you, as long as you hold on to it, it will give you these powers and the, the dragon can't harm you. So he says, okay, thank you so much. You can come to my kingdom and have whatever you want when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so... He takes his feather and his sword and his shield, and he wanders into the cave. And he he's tiptoeing so the dragon can't hear him. And he go all of a sudden he sees that the dragon is sleeping, and he sees in the distance a very shiny crown. Now this is bigger than the crown he has, and he he might be able to trade it to for. The money he needs. <laughs> sell it. His kingdom. Hey, sell it. I, yeah, I sell it. The princess is wearing around too. <laughs> He's gonna sell sell it to a neighboring kingdom, a more wealthy kingdom. So he grabs the crown and he wears it for safekeeping. <laughs> and then he tiptoes <laughs> around the dragon and then and he, he goes back on his horse and he leaves. And the frog comes with him and the frog tells or he knows, he just knows that this was all just courage, that the king could do it all himself. Aww. And the dragon stayed alive in the in this cave. And no, everything, every... everyone lived happily ever after. Happy! And... Woo! So there's totally a... Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Jack. And Jack was fearless. And he went around town letting everybody know. He always said, my name's Jack, and here I am. If you dare me to do something, I'll show you I can. So people would tell him to do silly dares. One boy dared him to steal an apple. He said, I bet you won't steal an apple from that merchant. So Jack went, he stole the apple, and he got away. He said, see, I told you I can do it. My name's Jack, and here I am. If you dare me to do something, I'll show you I can. Well, then one day, Sneaky, sly, clever fox came to Jack and said, I hear that you're fearless and you'll take any dare. And Jack, of course, said, Well, my name's Jack and here I am. If you dare me to do something, I'll show you I can. So the fox said, Well, I dare you to race me. And I'd like to wager you. I've got a magical key that could unlock the Prob unlock any problem that you've got. And all you have to do if you lose is be my servant. Jack thought, because he normally didn't have to bet anything, but he would take on any dare. So he said, okay, what's the dare? He said, I'll race you around the lake. First person to get to the tree and back wins. He says, okay. So they get on the starting line. On your mark. It's set, go, and the fox with four legs starts running way faster than Jack. Around, around, around. And Jack thinks he's going to lose, so he thinks, what can I do? I'll jump in the lake and swim. So he swims across, he touches the tree, comes back, and sure enough, he beats that sly fox. And the fox says, you tricked me. You were supposed to be my servant. Here's your key, but I'll be back. So Jack gets the key, a magical key. He doesn't know what to do with it yet, but he knows that he's got something pretty valuable. So time goes by, and Jack's walking again, and he sees the fox. And the fox says, it's you. He says, that's right. My name's Jack, and here I am. If you've got a dare, I'll show you I can. So the fox says, I dare you to break into that house. That house up there? Yeah, that one. What's so hard about that? The fox says, I just don't think you will. So Jack says, okay, I'll do it. So he goes up to the house and the door's locked. The window's locked. He can't get in. Then he remembers he has a key. So he takes out the key, puts it in the hole, and sure enough, it unlocks the door. 
He gets inside, and behind him hears a loud bang. Crash! The door slams shut, and he's locked in by that sly fox. Let me out! Let me out! And how sure shaking. That sly fox hooked up a hot air balloon to the top of it to carry him away to the sky. So he's <gasps> floating up, floating up, floating up, and his key starts to glow. And out from the key comes a little fairy who says, Hi, my name's Her Hazel Fairy, and I can help you with any problems that you <laughs> might have. And Jack says, I don't have a problem. I can do anything. I'm not scared of anything. And Hazel Fairy says, okay, if you don't need my help, then I'll just be going. And Jack says, no, I'm scared. Please help. How do I get down? And the fairy says, well, I dare you to jump. Jack says, what? I can't jump. The fairy says, if you listen to me, I'll solve your problems. I dare you to jump. So Jack jumps, and down he falls, falls, falls onto a soft, magical tree. He lands in the branches and gets down safely. The fox says, how did you beat me twice? And Jack says, I don't want your key anymore. Now get out of here. And Jack went off to live an honest life. The end. Yay! <laughs> Brilliant. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who went in her boat all day long. She liked to fish because that's the only way that she could get food because she was very hungry and very poor. And she saw Puss in Boots, the cat, walking. And she was like, sir, do you have any food? The fish aren't biting and I haven't eaten in a couple days. And he says, no, but can you take me across the river? I need to get over onto that island. Uh, island, thank you. I need to get over onto that island. And she says, well... I'm really hungry, sir. Are you sure you don't have any food or money to pay me in order to take you over to the island? He says, no, but there is a castle up there, and I do know that there's a very rich witch who lives in that castle, and she has a lot of money. And if I go and I steal her money, can I give it to you so you could take me across the river and go onto that island? She said, sure. I'm so hungry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Puss in Boots goes, 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 and he sees the witch, and he she doesn't see him yet, but he tries to jump on her like a little cat, <laughs> and <laughs> but she sees him, and she throws some potion at him, <laughs> and he turns from a talking cat, Puss in Boots, to a little meow meow cat on all fours. <laughs> so he runs back and he goes to Little Red Riding Hood and he goes meow 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 and she has no idea what he's trying to say. <laughs> but she thinks, well, I can have a new pet right now or I can try and find a way to turn him back into a talking cat. So at first she thinks, oh, but the meow meow cat is so cute. And then she decides I can't let that happen. So she leaves the cat on the boat and goes and wants to confront that mean old witch who turned Puss in Boots into a meow meow cat. And she had a basket, but it was empty because she was poor. So she tricks the witch and says, please, ma'am, I need a potion to turn my meow meow cat back into a talking cat. I will give you what's in my basket for a new potion. And the witch said, you're not here to try and steal my money? And she says, no, ma'am, all I want is a potion for my meow cat. And I will give you what's in my basket. Well, what's in your basket? Well, it's a surprise. You have to take the trade if you want to know. And she says, fine, I'm very curious. There is a blanket covering the basket, so I really want to know what's in there. So she hands her the basket, and she hands her the potion, and she leaves the money because, after all, she thinks... The cat and her will have a good relationship. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I have it. All right, so she <laughs> and she gives the potion, and it turns back into pushing pussin boots, <laughs> and they decide to go to the island together.
together to see if they can find food and they become best friends forever and happily ever after. The end. Yeah. <laughs>